former NFL player Terrell Owens recently had a rather interesting discussion about interracial dating with Chad Ochocinco Johnson on Instagram Live. Owens shared that he was pushed into the arms of white women by black women, who rejected him because of his looks. My first experiences with black women growing up wasn't so good. When I started dating white girls, my first experience was when I went to college. I tried to date some black girls. When I was in college, they did not like me. I was skinny. I was scrawny, he said to Johnson. The former 49ers player claimed he used to get teased between high school and college for being dark-skinned. There was a lot of self a lot of self-esteem issues. I'm being dead honest. So, when I got my opportunity, my first experience with a white girl, it was like okay, it wasn't bad. But Theo insists that didn't mean he only gravitated to white women nor did it deter him from still dating or pursuing black girls. My thing now is because I know there's a stigma that the stereotypical of athletes, you know to go off and make money and date the opposite color, the opposite race. But for me, where I am, it's not even about color. It's not even about race for me, he explained. For me, it's about somebody that I have some chemistry with and good energy and I get a good vibe with. That's where I am. Owens believes anyone who claims that looks and appearance don't matter they are telling a lie. I attempted to date black girls when I was younger. I wasn't as handsome as I am now, he said. His remarks quickly sparked outrage on social media, with some claiming he's making excuses for dating white women. Why you date girls should never have anything to do with black women. Just say it's your preference and slide. Boy just say you tricked your money off on a woman. Now that it's gone, you're gonna gaslight black women. He's saying a lot of nothing just to validate his preference. He lying. The one he liked may not have liked him back, but I don't believe not one black girl liked him. One person who believes Owens wrote, white girls will line up to date the awkward black guy that isn't what is considered handsome slash fine slash cute. Between 2009 to 2011, the father of four had a reality series called The T.O. Show, which aired for three seasons. The show documented his off-the-field success as he navigated finding a new team to play for, moved to Los Angeles to dive into acting, and his relationship with his ex Kerry Clinton Borge. Owens was previously married for three days to a white woman named Rachel Snyder, which ended in 2015. He has also been romantically tied to a few actresses and reality stars such as Days of Our Lives star Felicia Terrell, Real Chance of Love reality star Kip Force, also known as Blonde Baller, and Candace Cabrera from Flavor of Love. As far as notable black actresses, it's been reported that he's dated Sana Lathan, Lisa Leslie, and Vivica A. Fox. Even though the 49-year-old likes himself and many women may like his looks now, the former football star is clear that not all white women like him. In 2022, Owens took to social media to call out a Karen, who was reportedly harassing him while he was going to his mailbox. He shared a video of his interaction with a white woman who falsely accused him of speeding and running a stop sign, which he disputed. He insists there was no stop sign and that he wasn't speeding. Owens also denied the woman's claim that he approached her aggressively, referring to her as Karen. The matter escalated after the Karen made racially charged remarks despite efforts by a police officer to defuse the argument. You're a black man approaching a white woman, she said while sobbing in a high-pitched tone. You put your car in park and you came after me. In disbelief, the retired baller said, here she is crying. There's Karen, I swear to God. I have never been in a situation like this. He later added, I've seen it, but this is first hand. Perhaps black women made him feel uncomfortable in his past, but now it seems that white women and their tears might have trumped those teasing honey dips from school.